lambda expressions are a new type of expression that has a very familiar effect. Okay, let's start up Python. Now we already know that we can bind names to values, such as 10. And we also know that functions are values. So it should be the case that we can bind the name square to uh, the expression x times x. But that doesn't work because x gets evaluated and so square is 100. Square is not the act of squaring things. But with a lambda expression, we can achieve what we'd like. We can say square is a function that takes one formal parameter, x, and returns x times x every time it's called. Okay, so this is different from what we had above, and square is now bound to a function, a function that squares things. Let's understand what just happened. So lambda expressions are ways of creating functions whose body is a single expression. So here's an expression, x times x, but that one just evaluates to a number as soon as we write it down, because that's the execution rule of an assignment statement, is that we have to evaluate the thing on the right. So the same thing happens here. This expression, which is called a lambda expression, gets evaluated, but it evaluates to a function. Now the way you read this, lambda x, x times x, is a function with formal parameter x that returns the value of x times x whenever it is called. So notice that we don't need to use the return keyword anywhere, it's implied. And it's implied because the body of a lambda function is always just a single return expression. Now I can square things. So lambda expressions aren't terribly common in Python, although I think they're becoming more popular as time goes on. But they're important in general, and they're certainly fundamental in some other programming languages. Lambda expressions in Python are a little bit more restricted than functions you create with def statements, because they cannot contain statements themselves, only expressions. So let's compare lambda expressions and def statements. Face off. There's a lambda expression that defines a function that we can refer to as square. Here's a def statement that defines a function that we can refer to as square. So what's the difference? Well, both create a function with the same domain, same range, and same behavior, just different ways of doing the same thing. Both functions have as their parent the environment in which they were defined. So the same rules for environments and name lookup work, whether it's a lambda expression function or whether it was a def statement function. Both of these expressions above bind the function to the name square. Now it's part of executing the def statement that square is bound to the function we create. That's not true with a lambda. Lambda creates a function, and then this whole expression evaluates to that function. So we need an assignment statement here, square equals, in order to give the name square to that function that we just created. Only the def statement gives the function an intrinsic name. If we look at the square function here, that we created with a lambda expression, it's called function lambda. This function doesn't know its own name because the name was added to it after the thing was created. By contrast, if I create square in the way that we've done before, and I look at its intrinsic name, it knows its name is square because it was given that name as part of the def statement. So that's the one little difference, is that when you print the thing out, it looks different. Now why does that matter to us? Well, it doesn't really matter much at all. We do make a small change in the environment diagrams, and that, while we still bind the name square to the function, which is the important part, we use a different, um, we draw the function itself differently. We use the Greek letter lambda to remember that this was a lambda expression function. And uh, likewise, when we create frames, we can use lambda there because we copy this over. 
which is different from what we normally do where this function is the square function because it was defined that way. And that's just to indicate that there is a difference in terms of what the function is because this one has an intrinsic name given to it through the def statement and this one does not. But since those intrinsic names aren't really used for anything except for printing stuff out, it's almost the same.